What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we are back. Baldur's Gate 3. Super exciting, super pumped. And, uh, we just started the Goblin Camp. So we're gonna be going through there. We're gonna try and keep it friendly. Let's try not to anger the goblins just yet. I mean, hey, listen, if I gotta murder everybody in the goblin camp, I'll murder everybody in the goblin camp. It's all good. But, um... I mean, we're gonna have to do that anyway. Because, you know, it's just the way it goes. But, yeah. So, just prepping over here, just getting everything ready. How's everybody doing? Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. Really appreciate it, but definitely like. Just want to make sure my chair is all Ugh. good to go. All right. Hmm. We'll, uh, we'll leave the camera the way it is. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, yep, Fire Axe, Shattered Sanctum. There we go. Alright, cool. We'll jump right in. So, how's everybody doing? Trusting everyone as well. Looks like we're good. I'm just checking the old phone. Just making sure everybody knows we are live. Yep, there it is. Cool. Yeah, so uh, while Paige is out, she's getting dinner with a friend. Um, I made some deer, some venison. So that was pretty good. Got it from a friend of mine. And um, it's awesome. I had it one other time before, or two other times before. I forget how much I've had. I've definitely had definitely had it I think twice now. Um All right. Paige just left. So, anyway, but uh it's really awesome. I always enjoyed it. Um It's not gamey, you know. Some people say it's gamey. I don't really think it's gamey, you know. I don't even know what gamey means, you know. People say gamey all the time. But like I can't even tell you what gamey means. It's very, uh, confusing to me, I, I guess. Just wanna make sure the camera's good, that's all. Yeah, looks like it's good. It's as good as we're gonna get. You know, drop a comment. Have you ever had venison, or deer meat, or elk? I'm a big fan of bison, personally. Alright. Looks like we're good to go. So, here's where we left off. We haven't actually even gone down there yet. Uh, I did go back to the camp just to um, rest and refresh because I wanted to be able to have the uh, illithid worm, like have the, you know, the uh, Mind Flayer Parasite able to help us out with this because um, if we didn't, you know what I mean? And they go, oh, you're not a true soul, then again, we all... Get in a fight. All right, so let's get going on this. Don't waste a step. Let's get right on to it. Um, let's see. I could speak to her directly, straight up. Let's check the journal real fast. Let's just see. All right, find a cure, personal quest, blah blah blah. All right, so nothing really crazy. Again, they're friends right now with us, or they're friendly toward us. So, uh... Let's see here. We have these dudes up over here. And then up over this way, 
There's some more stuff. So let's, uh, I don't know, I guess let's just be bold. You here to get branded too? Priestess reckons we should get marked up before the next raid. Make sure whoever we're sticking it to knows we're doing it for the absolute. Ah, yes, the absolute. Okay, so anyway. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Let's talk to the priestess. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you. Hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Okay, we will not be doing any of that. Um, uh, let's see. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. Sorry, I just want to move myself over just a little bit only us that follow the absolute you ready brace yourself this will sting maybe you don't need it after all you're special ain't ya like me she probes your mind tangling your thoughts with hers a familiar sensation she too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving hmm. you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Let's see, I don't know if I want to go deeper. I mean, I guess I could. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Let's see. Hmm. I don't really care to uh, get anything done here, obviously. Just a second. Uh, can you with that? Can we talk privacy? The sense of matter. It fix whatever's causing those shadows. That's the thing, like, those shadows are probably the, um, the guardians. I figure we'll just leave. Wait, true souls are infected like us. Why do they think they're talking to a god? <laughs> Perhaps that's how we would have ended up had our nautiloid not been attacked. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, we did that. Um, we're still friendly and everything. Everything's all good. So I guess because uh, they recognize us as true souls, you know, we can just kind of go about and do our thing. Um, let's see what's up with this guy. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! Please! Stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say will take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Now, we don't want to use that too much, because if we do, then we're going to end up, uh, actually screwing up, you know what I mean? Um, like, if we're going to need to use that Illithid power for any reason, later on, and then we run out, then we have a long rest, but we already got into the situation, won't be good, so... 
No! Why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. We do all the work, and you get to finish him. Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. I <sighs> should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest. For all the good he's been. <clears throat> That weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> oh, yeah, beating it good. But the prisoner! Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. All right, let's talk to this guy. Liam. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Helsin, I, I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they, they ambushed us. Mm -hmm. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... <laughs> so efficient. All right, let's see. I don't what know. does it do? The boss didn't say. Just said some wizard called Laroacan would reward us if we found it. It should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. Let's see. I'm not sure. All I know is there's a, a passageway. To the night song. All right, night song. Had instructions, but sounds pretty cool. The goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Oh no! We're gonna get eaten by goblins. Oh. I, I don't want to die. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can do it. We made it. The lock clicks and opens. All right. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. Yeah. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so this dude goes running up there. I forget if there's anything up there. I don't think so. Skeleton, what have we got? Okay, I'll take some of that. Yeah, there's really nothing else up here. Just that. Chasm. Which is interesting because, you know... You would think that they actually built that up there for something, but... Who knows? Probably not. Alright, so... That dude's done. Put my torch away. Alright, let's, uh... Talk to this guy. Let's just see. I'm watching you. Spike promised that any meat that falls off is mine. Okay. Bet you couldn't make him sing either. Could ya? Let's, uh, talk to this guy over here. You can do better than that! 
Oh, let's see, hold on. Um, all right, cool. Nothing, nothing really good there. It's a potion of healing on the counter, but we have enough of those. So we don't have to steal it. Yeah, this guy's an edge lord. He's super edgy. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Please, the things they do to that man, so crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, mm -hmm. alas. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Mm, I must see this. Don't you dare say no. <laughs> this is something Firax would say. Is that a promise? Oh, a pity, though. You would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. Yeah, I don't feel like getting flogged by this guy. It's not exactly my, uh, not my thing. What is this? Ritual dagger. I didn't notice this last time I was here. The Pain Maiden's Blessing. After a successful attack with this dagger, the wielder receives attack roll and uh, blood sacrifice. Hmm. That would be pretty cool. Oh, and a ritual axe. Look at this. Scourge Mistress is Bane. Uh, attacker still super similar. Help uh, uh. Hmm. I wonder if I could distract them with anything. I mean, now that we have these dudes in here, probably not. Pick out candles all round ya. Use them. Oh yes! Everyone howls when they're on fire. Hmm. We'll have to see, uh... Oh. Ah. Bolo. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Let's see. Then catch one on your own. As the hmm. symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um, let's see. Let's see if we could uh, detect thoughts. Nice. Awesome. 
solid roll. All right, let's see. Better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. Don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Does he think? Mm -hmm. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. All right. Let's see here. Well, uh. Look at this! I'm quite saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Let's see here. Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Let's see here. Let's just go to my camp. Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. Whenever I hear the word daring do, I always think of um, Life of Brian. It's a great movie. All right, Let's see what's in here. Probably just a bunch of rotten stuff. Uh, yeah, like sweet potatoes and stuff. We don't really need to grab all that stuff. What's this, dearest Elminster? So yeah, it must be a brief as I'm under some duress, having become the esteemed guest of a rambunctious host of goblins. Ah, oh, I'm not reading all those. Volo. All right. Okay, cool. So we did that with Volo. Let's just see if there's anything else in here. Relapse sack. Yeah, there's nothing else of really use because everything in these sacks is gonna be just like rotten food probably yeah all right let's just get out of here now Halson should be down this way I don't know if I want to go that way just yet And this, this gate is locked. Yeah, we got some spiders down here. And then up here, we have these guys. Let's see what they're up to. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Hmm. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That a problem for you? 
I didn't even get to do this with her. When I came over here, they were just like, they were kind of bitchy. Let's see, um... Let's see, uh, no problem at all. Let me see your wares. What business do you have in the goblin camp? I don't know, let's, uh, see what she's got. Uh, I haven't had the chance to do this, so it's pretty cool. All right, let's always take the healing potions. Always need some of that. Um, potion animal speaking, antidote. Potion visibility. I think we have a good amount of thieves tools. Yeah, you know, we're good on that. Like I said last time, we're actually doing really, really good in terms of equipment. Gold wormling staff. Ah, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Um, gold wormling staff. Weapon enchantment one. Learn Firebolt, which we already know. Topple, obviously, that's a quarter staff thing. But it looks like it's 5 to 15 damage, and 1d4 of it is fire, so that's pretty cool. Wouldn't mind going for something like that. What do we got here? Monster Slayer Glaive. This weapon deals additional one for your door. Uh, monstrosity type foes. That's pretty cool. Longbow, it's enchanted. Is this rapier plus one? It's also not, not bad. Um, see what we have here. Chainmail. I know that's kind of average. Chain shirt. Hide armor. Leather armor. Yeah, their prices are a little expensive here. Scale mail. We'll come into that eventually. Scam mail is actually pretty cool. It's a really good looking armor set too. Uh, supply pack, gloves, oranges, all right. Poutine. All right. So, we don't really need any of this stuff right now. Technically, we don't even really need the healing potions because we have 46 of those. It's a record number. Usually these are always low in my other playthrough, but you know, hey, I'll, uh, let's see if we could trade, trade some stuff, give her a few torches here, um, war pick, Hmm. Blooded Great Axe. We don't have fifty percent hit points unless they deal an additional one. Uh, slashing. That's a pretty heavy. It's a heavy battle axe there. Seven sixty. Wonder how much she'd give me for that. Um. That egg. I want to give her that. Um, you know what? Let's actually... Let's do nothing for now. Pleasure. Then again, a part of me wants to hold on to that egg. We got smoke powder barrels. As you can see, these guys are smuggling quite... The explosive load back here. So. We'll have to talk to her before we, uh... Start really shaking this place down. We'll have to talk to her. Now, there is more over here. But I do know what's behind... Here. Um... This door here, the priestess entrance. Uh, it's a very large friend we'd have to deal with. So... I'd rather not deal with that right now. Let's just uh, explore the place here. See, I would love to attack these war drums. Uh, 
Don't play it either. I'd love to attack those and kind of break those for the fight later, but we'll see. Now, I actually never had the opportunity to, uh, to speak to Draw Ragslin here. So, I don't really know how far we can get with this. Looks like this dude's getting eaten by spiders here. Alright. Yeah, so, I mean, normally... Last time, I can't even really remember... What I did first in this place. Let's talk to this guy here. If I were you, I'd get me ass back to the party before somebody put me to work. Alright. See what's up with this guy. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGloviet. Trying to interrupt my prayers. Scared of a real god. You're as goomless as the rest of them. Hmm. Huh. Alright, well, let's see here. Um. Rich, a free world, and how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? I'll tell you why. Cause I'm loyal to McLoviet. Cause I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah, my old tribe's fallen for this shite, traitorous <laughs> bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's hair. <laughs> it's a load of sight. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom. Mm -hmm. I'll wait it out in air, praying to a real god. Alright, cool. So he's doing his thing. I don't know what these guys are doing back here. A trap. Time to dance. Where's our trap? Where the hell is there a trap? Am I am I blind? Do I not see a trap? you're wanting a clubbing and drubbing okay <laughs> boss Ragslin weren't lying when he said anyone could join the absolutes ranks all right well I don't know what these dudes are doing Alright, well, yeah, like I said, I have no idea what that trap was. That they, uh, they sensed, but... Alright. So, we could do a few things here, because again, we're gonna eventually have to fight all these people. I never actually went to draw Ragslin. I never spoke to him. 
So before we go in here, let's just save. I'll call this um, before uh, before draw rag. Because I don't know, like, you know what I mean? I want to always be able to go back just in case. You never know. All right, let's see what's up. No, 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 no. Do not close the door. Shh. Let's hope this gives us some answers. Silence. You'll interrupt the ritual. Okay. So apparently we'll interrupt the ritual. Now let's do a few things while we're back here. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. All right. So there's uh, plenty of treasure to be had back here, and uh, I don't think the goblin's really going to miss it. So, just make sure nobody's coming up here. Okay, excellent. Nobody's coming up here, so let's uh, just go ahead and lockpick this door. Well, we're going to need a 20. It's a good thing we have staring. Disgusting, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Alright, we're gonna just take everything that's in here. Alright, excellent work. Very good. Let's just go ahead and close this back up. So that nobody knows we were even here. Alright, so we just got a gigantic payday from that. Smoke powder. Damn, it's good to be alive. Let's grab some of these smoke powder barrels. Where's that other one? Alright. It's always good to have some smoke powder. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna really heat this up here. Alright, so... Let's see, anything else up here? No. We gotta talk to this Draw Ragslin guy, or I've actually never done it. I wonder if we even can. Part of me feels like if we disturb him, he might get pissed off. I'm just not sure. I've never really done this. So, let's actually, we'll all come out of group hide and let's group back up. And then we're just going to save again. We're just going to say, after stealing from... I, I don't know what this guy's name is. Draw Ragslin. Draw. Draw. Alright, cool. So, let's all come out of group hide here. And let's see what this guy has to say here. I, again, a part of me doesn't really want to bother him, but... You never... You don't really know here. He's doing his thing. Part of me feels like if we bug him... Let's see... I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the absolute! Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. 
Suga Nansukok. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. Dragonborn. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. Oh, okay. He recognizes me as Dragonborn. For a brief moment once Pretty again. cool. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Guess it doesn't matter what you are. You're a true soul. And that's good enough for me. Okay, not bad. He doesn't speak his next words. Yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Hmm. Kind of curious here. Let's see. Study the corpse of Mind Flayer. Is this the Mind Flayer that tortured you? Let's, uh, let's study the corpse for a minute. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Mm -hmm. It too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Hmm. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Oh, interesting. Purposes, their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. Oh boy. All right. See, so, yeah, I mean, let's go on with the ceremony. Black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. Let's see. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Let's see. Let's see if we could dig into his mind. Oh, nice. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, uh -huh, you awesome. ask. Who is the Absolute? Raxlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Oh, then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control, barely. 
Once more by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Gip Yankee dragon riders, silver mm -hmm. blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pulled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Let's see. Let's just ask who killed you. Let's just do it. Who killed you? Another vision consumes you. A memory seen through the creature's soul dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod to reveal a face. Yours. Soul. Whoops. Um. Let's see. <coughs> well, we have plenty of persuasion. So let's see here. Nice. We made it. Blasted Grove. Tell her you'll join her. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't want to just go over to Minthara and, you know. Praise the Absolute. Prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that right. Honors you and slays our enemies. Alright, well, that's uh, I actually never got to speak to Draw Ragslin, so uh, that was pretty cool. Um Well, these guys are just kind of doing their thing, and he's just preaching. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's get out of here and go around this way. Um, I don't know if we should go to Minathra. I, I guess we might as well. Um, we're gonna have to go and find um, Halson, which I know where he is. I just don't know how soon we want to do that. Let's uh, check our books here. Rescue Halson. Let's see. Um, we learned that Halson transformed into a bear during a chaos. Failed expedition might be still in that shape. Discover artifact secrets. Yankee are looking for the artifact we carry. Okay. Let's see here. Save the refugees. So we have raid the Emerald Grove. Right. So the adventurer gave in and revealed the location of the grove. Um. We have what the Drow Mathra needs to order the raid. Save the first druid. Okay. We rescued Volo. Find the night song. Alright, so... 
let's go ahead and save, because, I mean, that went good enough. And then we'll say, uh, draw rags talked. All right. So, I don't know what happens if we go to speak to Minathra. Um, of course, I don't want to order the... You know, I don't want to accidentally order a raid. That would suck. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But Scout said they heard something moving around out there. So, a part of me kind of feels like we could either talk to her or we can go and get Halson. But if we get Halson, basically, we're going to have to just murder everybody in the in the place. So, I mean, we could kind of see what we can find. But let's just try. We have the other What's save, so if we need to go if we need to go back we can uh so let's go ahead and see oh what's this scrying eye no there we go eyes glassy black surface reflects it's like a black sour on eye um i don't poke it i'll let's say give it a cheerful wave you sense no reaction from the unblinking eye I doesn't seem to notice your presence. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Hmm, she's got some nice armor. And they mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lad will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. Hmm. Huh. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement mm -hmm. is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Mm -hmm. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. All right, well, we'll just leave. The are just waiting for the word, mistress. We're ready for anything. And the prisoner. We're still working on him. All right, so let's, uh, we got that info. Um. Let's leave everybody down here. 
grab a Starion and... Let's go up here. And uh, let's go rummaging around. Yeah, let's just bring everybody up here. We'll wait for everyone to group up. All right, here's everybody. Is that blood? No, never mind. One day I'll catch a break. Yeah, I never actually got a chance to talk to Minarthra um, either. So, you know, all right, not bad. We'll have to see. Now, obviously, there's plenty of places for us to attack these dudes from. This is actually where I ran into uh, Raphael the first time. Alright, so let's save again. Because we just spoke to Manathra, so I'll say Min talked. So now we can go on, go back, just in case. Alright, cool. So let's walk across this plank here. We'll go to this side. Oh, come on, you two. Let's go. Yeah, literally, this is where I ran into Raphael last time. Uh, what's over here? Up, oh, that's the guy who... It's the other guy. What's this over here? I don't know if I found this chest in my other playthrough. Maybe I did. Giant finger. Pegasus feather. Wood bark. Uh, I have no idea. But that's a pretty good find. Alright, cool. So we did that. Um, now let's see. Obviously this is a great vantage point that when we go to attack these dudes down here, we could just stay up here. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's have everybody jump over here. Plenty of things around here to loot. More silver, we'll take that. Uh, I want to look at everybody's stuff real fast. Let's see, anyone getting close to encumbered? No, no, no. Oh, let's go through what Astarian found. So we got more Infernal Iron, which is awesome. So let's send the Infernal Iron to Firax. Um, we could leave him with the scroll of grease. Uh, Malachite, let's take that. Let's take this as well. Let's take the plates. Plate. What do we got here? Spring step boots. Swift strides. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action or combat, they gain momentum for three turns. It's pretty cool. Um, now, we got some stuff last time that I never actually gave to, um... I never gave the fire axe, so we have these gloves here, bracers of defense. So you gain a plus two to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. So that is definitely good for us. So I'll take that for him. Uh, what is this, a cape slot? Yeah, that's a cape slot. Alright, then uh, boots. Now, do we have any cool boots? Let's just uh, go ahead and reorganize by type. Um... Any boots, any boots, any boots. War pick, battle axe, or great axe, whatever. Doom hammer. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't really see anything armor wise. So, let's go back. See here. Oh, let me uh, swap my necklace out. 
It's one thing I can swap. There we go. All right, cool. So let's take a look. So spring step boots. I mean, the dashing. I feel like we dash. With, well, Astarian has two dashes, so let's not waste it on him. Uh, Fire axe is not really a physical character, so let's uh, be meaning that he's ranged. So let's actually give those to Carlac. Gloves of the Growling Underdog. Underdog's bravery. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. So that's actually pretty good. Hmm. But these, these are good for her. Yeah, I'll just give these to, um... Give him the Shadow Heart. Why not? That'd be something good for, like, Lyzel or somebody. Or even, again, Carlac, because Shadow Heart doesn't really have to worry about that, but you never know, though. You know what I mean? If she happens to be surrounded in a situation, that can come in handy. Uh, all this gold, obviously we'll take that. We are, like, rich in this game. This time around. So, Amulet of Saloon's Chosen. So, Saluna, Saluna, Saloon. Saloon's Dream. An ally... We touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. Alright, I don't know how great that is, but um He already has one, so what was guidance? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a Carlac, whatever. You know, she doesn't have anything yet, so might as well. Um yeah, okay, cool. So that's pretty good. Worked out pretty well. Uh, silver ingot. Well, let's let's send this back to camp. It's a little heavy. Let's send some things back to camp for us. Uh, it's organized by weight. Bronze ingot. Let's send that to camp. Water. There's really no reason to have all the water. I guess we'll just send it to camp. Spider egg sack. We'll hold on to. Um, doom hammer. Okay, so we'll give that to Harlack. I mean, or we keep it for ourselves, but we don't have the two-handed ability just yet. So we'll give it a Carlac. Alright. So let's do that. Because Carlac, let's see. Sword of Justice with Tears Protection. So the good thing about Tears Protection... Basically increase your armor class by two. But the Doom Hammer thing, though... Each strike fills the target with a chilling dread that prevents it from regaining hit points. When you miss an attack, you're dealing additional two. I feel like this... This might be better than this. Yeah. Yeah, let's give her the Doom Hammer. We'll stick with that for now. Alright, cool. So, let's see, where are we? Um... There's a gilded chest across the way here. So, let's do one of these. We're gonna jump. We'll jump here. And then we'll jump. Up here. I don't know if everybody can follow us. I don't think so. Alright, nothing crazy up here. Um, let's jump back down here. There's Carlac. Where the hell is Carlac? Oh, she's like stuck on the wall. Benisterian, obviously, is... He's not really a jumper, this dude. It's the strength component. Kinda sucks at that. Alright, so... 
Now since everybody's back on one thing, so I'll get back together, group back up. And um I don't know, I guess I'll have everybody just hang out here. It's down here. Now, this is like an Astarian area. Um So here's what we'll do. We got Astarian with Carlac. Over there. That's curious. What the hell is this? A burrow hole. That thing is tiny. Maybe I could fit I in there. Okay, now if Asterion comes down here, I don't know if he can actually get back up. You know what? Let's keep him. Let's keep him up here. One group. Damn, it's good to be alive. I use Carlac instead. Um... Oh, I didn't even know this was up there. Heh, <laughs> nothing. Great, so now since she's up here, if I jump down, yeah. I won't get... Okay, somehow that worked. Okay, so... Let's see here. What the hell can I jump on that can get me down there? No, let me actually try and... Because, again, I want to be sneaky. Because if I'm not sneaky, then these dudes are going to come through the other side of the door. So let me see if I have a uh, potion of featherfall. Potion of featherfall. Here we go. Cool. We'll send one to Carlac. Oh. Someone back the fire axe. All right, cool. Okay, so plenty of things for us to take over here. We gotta take this smoke powder stuff. This is gonna really help us out. We're just gonna take this whole chest here. Uh, steel. All right, so we took the entire chest here. So let's send this to camp. We'll send this to camp. Send this to camp. So now let's steal this. Smoke powder is the, like these smoke powder barrels are so damaging. I don't know what's going on with that one. These things blow up. Like when they blow up, they blow up. Very effective against a lot of things. So we're just going to send these to camp. We're just going to keep taking them. Now, this was my mistake last time, because I thought maybe there was something back here. I'm like, oh, like, you know, maybe this this whole, like, thing blows up or something, but it doesn't. So, I'm like, there's no, there's no point. Let's just steal them. 
Definitely let's just steal them. All right. Yeah, like, I mean, like, the fire wine barrels, they don't really... I don't know, they don't really do it for me. All right, so... Let's get back out of here. All right, cool. So now, since we did that... Not used to lying low. All right, what's in here? Rope. All right, cool. So, let's, uh... Breathing. Let's go back to Fire Axe. Let's go over here. We're gonna take this... Um... Yep. Yeah. Let's send a barrel to Shadowheart. Because she's pretty strong, too. She can carry a lot. All right, and then let's drop this... This chest. Let's have a staring block pick that. I'll be trying. All right, look, there he is. Perfect, and then now we're gonna get, like, 30. Huh, 31. It's insane. It really is. All right, what now? All right. Nice. Just a bunch of gold. Always love some gold. All right. To keep going. All right, cool. So that's pretty good. Let's uh, have everybody group back up on me. And um, I guess we're just gonna all have to jump down somewhere. I think everywhere we're gonna jump, we're gonna get hurt. Unless we just go back. Yeah, let's just see if we could all go back up top. Ah, uh, Starion. Alright. Careful, I bite. See what I can do with this guy. Sometimes you can kinda like finagle the game to make it work for you. No. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Um Hmm. I don't know if I have something to make him jump higher, or not. Unless, actually, I have an idea. Let's make Starion... ...big. Ah. So now he is a giant. Now. Oh, what do you mean it's too high? St oh, wait up. Oh, there we go. Aha. All right. Not bad. <laughs> Look at how big he is compared to everybody. That's cool. Can't give up now. All right. All right, everybody, let's group back up and, uh, let's get back on the other side. How's everybody doing? Good? So let's see if we have anybody coming in. If you're here, thank you for coming. If not, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, all good. So, let's see here. We're good to go. Let's go on down the ladder here. All right, so a few things we can do. Um, let's go back over to the other side where we just were. I mean, well, if we go on the other side, we're going to end up down here. Uh, or we can go talk to Halson. So, uh, let's see. Let's go find Halson, maybe. Oh, yes! Everyone howls when they're on fire! Uh, 
I really want this dagger. This ritual dagger and the ritual axe. It's pretty cool. Alright. Let's see what we could do. Um, let's just save again. I just want to keep saving. Um, actually, I'll save and I'll say... Smoke powder... Secured. I'm sure there's like another playthrough when you could really like go and raid with them and destroy all the druids. That would be pretty fucked up. But you could though. Do you want to head to see our new pet? It didn't seem easy, I'll give it that. Watch your step down by the pens. Wargy's been getting fat on your kind lately. Okay. What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers are. Ooh, ring of poison resistance. Okay, well that's always good. Um Yeah, put it on myself, why not? Boom. Could always do with a little bit of poison resist. Uh what do we got in here? Anything? No? Alright, well nothing in there. We got a sarcophagus, anything, gold. Other sarcophagus. What we got? Dagger? Sure. Sure. See, I don't even remember, like, removing this. That's the thing, because, like, at this point in the game, I wasn't really sure how to do that. Like, I didn't know that you can click and drag stuff. Like, move it out of the way. You know, so I might have to come back in here and just see if I could do that. Oh, hey, Beige. Yep, there's Paige watching me play. Hi, this is cool. Ah, thanks, babe. Such in such enthralling words. Hi. <laughs> Why don't you play this? Hey guys, comment in the chat if you want Paige to play a video game with me. You know, Paige doesn't say it. But, uh, she used to be a Super Mario, uh, Super Mario girl back in the day. She used to play, um, what you call it? Super Mario Sunshine. Right, babe? And, uh, Mario Kart. It's big on Mario Kart. What we got in here? Potion of healing. Scroll. We got fire. Fire wine barrel. I don't really need any more camp stuff. Let's see. Grab some more scrolls. Yeah, I hoard these scrolls. I literally never use them. But you know what, though? It's always good to have. Uh, okay, what do we got down here? We got water. Bunch of water. Um, well, we're gonna we're about to kill all these guys anyway, so. And we got wargs in there. Like I said, we're gonna we're about to murder all these guys in here. So maybe here's what I'll do. I'll have 
Starion go up this way. Oh no. See? He squealed! <laughs> Hit it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> I did not want a Starion to do this. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the Vorgs. And it makes okay. Maybe. Noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. Let's just use the Glithid Wisdom. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're also, uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Hmm. But, but I want to hear him squeal. One. That's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. See, so I didn't really do that Alithid Wisdom stuff at all. So for me, I had to literally murder the everybody. The sizes you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. If I use the potion of animal speaking, then I could probably speak to him in this form right now. Now let's just see, um... Let's just attack the goblins. The hell is that? Oh, a conjured spider. That's new. Ooh. The god! Get the god! Oh, crap. Wait, hold on. Where's the, uh... I was looking to see... Oh, shit. Um... Let's see. Let me see if I can nail, um... Let's do spiritual weapon. Okay, this way her floating blade can attack these two. And I had to run over here, so um I don't know, let's let's just do this. Knock them off balance. Oh great, the wargs, I forgot about them. Um Starion. Let's uh try and get him up here. Yes, here. This way he can grab these two. Um, uh, I forgot now I can't make him happy. Well, that's all right. Let's, uh, just have him attack this one. Yeah.
Let's just have her beat this thing. Shove it. Okay, good. He's coming in here to attack. I guess I could try and use the shield. Uh, well, increase armor class by five. Nah, I don't really need that. Whatever. Alright, let's, uh... Of course, me putting my weapon away is a action. We'll have him attack it. There we go. Excellent. Thank you, Cave Bear. Try something else. The hell was that voice, though? Try something else. Crap, we can't let that, uh... Alright, well, I guess it really doesn't matter. It is what it is. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna skip anything or any of that. Let's just keep it going. We got a lot of guys we gotta fight. A lot of dudes. I'm heating up. And let's uh send her into a frenzy. to nice oh this is the uh, the floating axe I can only like attack once and then that's that's really it. Ooh. Well that wasn't cool. Alright, well now since Firax is uh ready to kick some ass. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's do a true strike on... that guy. Then we're gonna do Quicken Spell. Some level 2 magic missiles. And we'll do... Oh, yeah. Ah, that was it. That sucked. Um...
All right, let's see here. Um, I forgot about this thing, the conjured spider. Uh, let's see what do we got. to do here. She's using the Krotic. Oh, man. 47. That was nuts. Alright. Let's, uh, can we heal somebody? Let's heal Starion. Hellish Rebuke. Oh, would you look at that, huh? That's why I wanted to give her Hellish Rebuke. It really is. Hellish Rebuke is fantastic. Hmm. Sorry, it looks like Paige is having some issues with her phone. I have to take a look. Alright. Let's see. Anything here? Borg Fang. I'll take that. Alright, cool. None of these guys are really attacking just yet. Step quick. Spill some big kiss. I mean, maybe I could try and see if we could knock these dudes out. I feel like a staring's gonna get lit up. Yep. Pick him up and then we'll throw it at this guy. Oh, come on. Nice. This thing is great. Let's see. What can we do here? Let's just use magic missile again. Torment. Knock those two out. Just hoping maybe I can jump up there. No. Alright, that's fine. We're doing okay. Well, now since uh, the cave bear, which is a uh, surprise, surprise, Halson. Uh, what is this, another shield? Yeah, I'll use shield, why not? It's a good thing I use shield. Um, let's heal up Fire Axe, and then let's try and see if we could heal, uh, Starion, even though, actually, Halson is right there. So, let's try and get Shadowheart Have to keep going. a little bit more in line here. Yeah, this way she could attack somebody. Um, let's go with Eldritch Blast. That dude's hiding in there. Great. Alright, Asterion's gotta get out of here. This way. 
Yeah. And let's just have him drink a potion. Nope, can't drink a potion. Because uh, I used the bonus action. Ugh. I always get so annoyed when I do that. It's fine, though. He's hiding behind the wall. He'll be fine. All right. Soldier. Let's uh, throw a javelin at one of these dudes. Throw it at him. Nice. There we go. Alright, up. Oh, the floating weapon. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Well, so much for peace. Alright, and then let's just go ahead and we'll end this here. We'll end this fight. Alright, um... Can't slow down. Of course, I ran through it. Ah, oh, he's still just out of reach. Come on, no more movement. So stupid. Can I hit him with this? Can't even hit him with that. Uh, chromatic orb? With that? Nope, can't even hit him with that. Well, we will just have to increase the range. You know what? Yeah, let's just light them up with some magic missiles. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish <laughs> all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> A true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Um... I, can I be must help. admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm. Should I show him the artifact? I guess I could. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Someone mm -hmm. is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Alright. 
So let's see. I overheard that the cultists are sending mm. all of their captives Moonrise. to Moonrise yep. Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Alright, let's see. Um, hmm. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. You got that right. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Mm-hmm. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Okay, so now this is... Okay, so basically we've gotten the okay to now go and wreck this goblin camp. Now, here's the thing, is that uh, we could definitely take out the Priestess and we could take out Manathra without the help of Halson. However, um, Draw Ragslin is a completely different story. That dude, oh my god, he is tough. Like, seriously. Now, granted, I was a lot lower level when I came here um, on my first playthrough. I mean, I am a level 4 now, but that dude did some crazy damage. So, for that, we'll take Halson. Um, let's just go ahead and loot these guys. We don't, we don't need more goblin, crude goblin crap shit weapons. Um, let's see here. Beastmaster. Oh. I didn't even know that this guy had this. Uh, line breaker boots. Okay. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath. Wrath. Adrenaline course through your veins, you have plus... Oh, okay. Plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. Huh. Well, I'll definitely take those. I don't know who I could really give that to. I mean, I could give him to, uh... I mean, really, Karlak is the one to give him to. I gave her these, like, when the wear dash would take some more action to gain momentum. Let's see, what's momentum, really? Uh, spur must be an urgency of movement speed and duration effects. I mean... I guess what I could do is I could... Give these boots to Shadowheart and take these other boots I just got. Give those to her, to Carlac. Uh, oh, what is this? I accidentally picked up a shield. Let me drop that. A cleaver. Well, we don't need this. And we got goblin bows. Like, we don't need all these bows. Useless. Worthless. All right. So, all right, we're going to need to heal up. So now since uh, we've gotten to this point, a little bit longer of a first episode, but we'll cut here, okay, and uh, we'll start the next episode. Let's save, and uh, I'll just call this uh, Got Halson.